Good morning, guys. Boondocking with Dennis. Let's go on a road trip. at the car wash. It's been a while. Thought I would test out my uh, duct tape job on the window, go through the car wash. Now, why do I go through the automatic car wash rather than the do-it-yourself one? Number one, it's cheaper. Number two, this one has the bottom blaster where it'll get all that uh, sand off the bottom of the truck. And three, I'm just lazy. Actually, washing it by hand does do a better job. But it doesn't have the bottom blaster. I can't crawl under the truck and get that little hose up there. So, there's my boondocking in the sand and the mud tip. Good morning, everyone. Well, guys, we have a very nice subscriber who suggested we go to Bonnie View, Texas. That's about 30 minutes from my house. Also, another subscriber uh, wanted us to go to a town uh, beyond that. So I can go this way and uh, go check out Bonnie View. Uh, she said there used to be a dance hall here. So let's check out the town and see what's left of it. So guys, I'm going down the highway. I saw these beautiful horses, did a U-turn, and uh, there's zebras in here. Yeah, I didn't need to go to the petting uh, drive through safari. There's zebras here, and we'll come back to that guy in a second, but these horses are just beautiful, three different colors. Seems like they get along pretty good with the zebras this moment the zebras are all on the left and all the horses are on the right and in the middle is this little brown guy and I didn't even notice him for the first few seconds uh, until I kind of adjusted my angle to make sure he looks like he's half horse and half zebra I don't know if that makes him a zorse or a hebra but um, yeah you leave the kids out in the yard alone and this is what you come up with he's really cool looking even his mane is like a zebra's mane so that was a nice little surprise that's really one of the things i love about these road trips is you don't know what you're going to see uh, we're going to head up and cut through bayside uh last month we went to bayside texas and bonnie view was just up the road from uh, bayside i don't know if i've actually driven through bonnie view before I cut through all these back roads going different places but uh, yeah we're getting close to Bonnie View and uh, not bad to see some lovely flowers in the middle of October so that was another nice little surprise and you just got to stop and uh, you got to appreciate the flowers you got to uh, 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 appreciate the Hebrews and the Zorses when you come across them and um, this is not the largest group I've seen on this ride, but uh, Bonnie View uh, was owned by a rancher named Wood. Now they have the Woods House in Bayview, and then there's Woods Borough just north of this. But at one time, this was all just one huge ranch. In the early 1900s, they divided it up among uh, immigrant farmers. It was sold to immigrant farmers. That's all cotton, guys. And uh, this is a really big group of cotton right here. But I I've seen it like, go so far back that I couldn't even see the end of it. And I'm glad this is here just to give you an idea of 
the amount of cotton that comes across these fields. Now, Bonnie View used to have a school and stores and a, a, a cotton gin, and they even had a pool hall. Now the subscriber said there was a dance hall, and I wonder if the dance hall and the pool hall was kind of one thing, but I do know Bonnie View has a community center. Now in 1990, they only had 25 residents. I think it's up to about 200 now. There's a lot of nice, well cared for houses here. There's a lot of working class houses here that are in great shape, people, uh, show pride and uh, take care of them but it's a it's a farm community uh, I don't even think it has a retail store right now like even a little you know place to grab snacks and gas uh, I certainly didn't see anything the closest that I saw was a uh, little community center and there's the community center um, I don't know if that used to be a pool hall or if that was a dance hall or if that's something new I really couldn't find out any information online there's this nice little park here there's the restrooms and you guys got to go just get out now and go i don't want to get on the highway in here that, that you need to use the restroom okay but uh yeah just a farming community right now it would be nice i was actually looking for anyone especially if it was an older person to ask you know hey was there ever a pool hall around here by the way if i lived in refurio county i would vote for pinky gonzalez just because he's a grown man named Pinky, so you know he can take care of himself and everything else around him. But uh, that was it for Bonnie View, guys. We're going to head up uh, through Woodsboro and move on to Goliad, Texas. I saw this sign at, at a little uh, daycare. I thought that was pretty neat, guys. Well, not a whole lot in uh, Bonnie View, but uh, CT suggested that we go up to Goliad. Goliad is rich in Texas history. Ride along with me, guys. Thanks for watching. Just a tree in the middle of the road. Hey, you know why trees don't like riddles? Because they always get stumped. <laughs> <laughs>